Jacob, internet gone mad again. I'm voxed and waxed and ready to arc. Uh, sticking my dick in my semen dispenser with no lube. Uh, Wacky slush. Uh, <laughs> big old milky jugs. Can't wait to suck on those. Lots of blood. Organic smoothies. Did you, did you have a lot of fun? My fucking blood, I'm a fucking god, Promo code. Promo code. Uh, promo code. When you download Walking Slush in the <laughs> Bruh store. <laughs> Ow. Oh man, right, I didn't expect to start off like that. We're starting. <laughs> That's in there. That's in there. We're we keeping that in. Use code <laughs> at www.bruh.walkingslush. <laughs> <laughs> Download the <laughs> bruh at wonky slush. <laughs> Download white people be like bruh at wonky slush. <laughs> Download the epic chungus moment at <laughs> dot bruh. <laughs> Download your whoa Kenny <laughs> bruh. <laughs> whoa Kenny <laughs> bruh. I love it when my boyfriend leaves his walkie slush. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny dk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm to get my RC. The so-called flying saucers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. The hell was I gonna, okay, okay. You, you brought up, on Monday, you brought up the army hammer shit. Mm-hmm. And I said, what? Army, what do you mean army ham? What is it, cannibal? What are you talking about? And then yesterday I saw he was trending and I clicked on it and I just, for like an hour and a half, just dove deep on that. And holy fuck, that has to be the craziest piece of celebrity gossip that I've read ever, I think. You think it's real, though? Uh, I mean... You think he really wants to drink blood? I mean, we so, watched him suck a baby foot. He probably wants to drink blood, man. Well, here's the thing. And, yeah, <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? And his, you don't remember that shit? That whole controversy at the top of the lockdown of him, like, sucking a toe. <laughs> no, like, he was like sucking his kid's toe. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. And you know, Army, Army, you know, I don't like putting people on blast, but you did this to yourself. <laughs> Army Hammer is sucking toe. Hold this on. This is what I mean. You know, I hate to speculate. It, it, no, no, no. It was the other way around. Son sucks Army Hammer's toe. And there was a video of it? Like he posted it or something? Yeah, we, we talked about it. And his wife, like, TMZ Kids, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> TMZ Kids. <laughs> this happened for a solid seven minutes. His wife was filming it. And they're just letting this kid suck his damn toe. Foot fetish on fleek. Dude. <laughs> First of all, on fleek. Just don't. Yeah, that's what I'm that's my problem with that. It's come on. That's just, over, man. Just don't. <laughs> That's my main problem with this Snapchat story. Oh, this was in 2019. I'm late as hell. This wasn't even... During. No, it's relevant, though, because that's what I'm talking about is... is I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they aren't. It's They seem like they're real, particularly <laughs> because there's a lot of a lot of girls that are coming out with, sim, with very similar stories. The screenshots all have the exact same style, like in terms of how he speaks mm. and how he writes. Mm. And also, if you go through his like social media history... It's fucking weird. It's Man. so bizarre. Like he did, he posted three pictures on Instagram on the grid of like this p- 
pig head. Yeah. That he w- was freezing or something. And it was like almost like he was like fetishizing a little bit. And like, I don't want, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but like, it's fucking weird. The, if you haven't seen the DMs that, the screenshots of the DMs that people are saying he sent to women, he's basically like a straight up psychopath, if they're real. I'm not going to, you know, he need for me, he needs to go on morning television with, with Hoda and whatever that other fucking bitch's name. And he needs to like look to camera and go, yeah, I like drinking blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm really into blood. Like I need it to from his face. Unironically, he needs to go. Yeah, I I don't see anything wrong with blood play. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> it's just a- you know when we filmed uh, Call Me by Your Name, I actually asked if they could put blood in the peach, and they said it wouldn't play well on camera. But <laughs> okay, here wait. Can I just read? Can I read some of these? Sure. Yeah, one of these okay. fake DMs. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see your brain, your blood, your organs, every part of you. I would definitely bite it, B. 100%. Or try to fuck it, not sure which. Probably both. If I fucked you into a vegetative state, I'd keep you, feed you, wash you, and keep fucking you. <laughs> like, fucking hell, dude. You're... Even, even if someone faked this and wrote it, it's like, it's sick. This is the best one. Oh my god, that just made me so hard, it makes me confused as to why. Is that even possible? So hard. Thinking of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. I am 100% a cannibal. (laughs) I want to eat you. Fuck, that's scary to admit. I've never admitted that before. (laughs) I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while it's still warm. Bro. Dude, this, this to me. <laughs> about him writing, I am 100% a cannibal. Bro. It's like one of the funniest things I've ever heard. This to me it Yo, sounds I am like, 100% a cannibal. It sounds like when you're 13 and you're horny for the first time and like you're just expressing all of it to somebody. You're like, yeah, I'd, I'd fuck you here and I'd, I'd suck in your boobs and fucking. Like, it's just. It seems like the 13 year old version. Yeah, the yeah, like I don't BDSM. Pull it out in the movie theater. <laughs> I want to cut open your head and take it. your brain out and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> it sounds like. Uh, maybe he just has no idea how to talk dirty. I want to cut your head off and cut a hole into your skull and grapefruit myself yeah. with your fucking brain <laughs> i want to eat i want to eat him eat him too i want to eat your brains i'm so hard I'm so fucking turned on i want to put your brains in a blender and then drink it i'm 100 percent a cannibal she's like dude what i yo, just said yo real talk though what i'm 100 percent a cannibal <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can I be real with you for a second? I'm like 100% a cannibal. You're 100% my girl. And I'm 100% a cannibal. <laughs> God damn, man. God damn. Think about him writing that out and sending it without even, like, oh my God, dude. You're an A-list celebrity. Why are you DMing girls that you want to fuck their brains? Now he can't even do simple shit. He can't even go buy chicken without judgment. You imagine being Army Hammer, none of this shit is true, and he's picking up a rotisserie chicken. It's like hot from the thing, from Vaughn's. It's like in the little plastic. Oh, like a rotisserie? Yeah, Yeah, and he just makes eye contact with someone. They look at him, they go, <laughs> shake their head. <laughs> he's like, well, what? It's like, you're gonna, I know you're going to fuck that thing. <laughs> no, I'm going to eat it. Oh, yeah, you're going to eat it. Or what, after you fuck it? or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you didn't just get one fucking living, sicko. Yeah, Jesus Christ. He's like, I just want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this dude goes to fucking... He goes, he goes to some fucking fast food restaurant. He's just in the drive-thru. He's got a hat, sunglasses. He's trying to disguise himself. You know, he's trying to get away from the drama. Yeah, hi. Could I, could I get a number one with... Cheese. Yo, is that fucking Army Hammer? <laughs> yeah, you want this thing fucking living and breathing so you can fuck its brains? Sick fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not a psychopath, I'm just 100% a cannibal. Yeah, I can show you where we actually harvest the meat. You can just go to the farm and fuck the animals while they're still living if you want to. Or no, you don't fuck things that are alive. <laughs> <laughs> 
Never mind. Between oh, I love Chet Hanks. Between Chet, Ben, and Jake, it's starting to stack up like a white boy pre-summer. That's for sure. <laughs> a white boy spring. White boy spring. Pre-summer. <laughs> it's pre-summer. Yeah, fuck, fuck spring, dude. It's just pre-summer. <laughs> white boy pre-summer. White boy pre-summer. Yeah. I th- yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. I'm kind of like not the type of di- white boy he's talking about, you know? Yeah, Chet no. Hanks. Yeah, you're not Chet included, Hanks, actually. Not, he was like, he said that. I was like, yeah, white boy summer, let's go. And then he's like, <laughs> and then he's like, snapbacks. Or, no, get that shit out of here. <laughs> and then, like, you know, a lot of the things that he said, you know, I don't know. I'm not rocking Sperry's. But you were slowly kind of disrobing. You're like, oh, no, definitely not. Yeah, flannel shirts. Yeah, yeah fucking get rid of that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's absolutely not white boy not. summer at all. Yeah, <laughs> salmon. Wait, salmon shirts. <laughs> yeah, no, salmon shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not white boy summer for you if you've ever owned a salmon mint or bet. Um, uh, damn it, like fisherman's blue, uh, button up t shirt. Yeah, yeah. My favorite part of the whole spiel is when he was like, "And no more using the term smoke show." It's played out, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like that's so funny. That's so like un. Unint- I mean, he's he's actually a really funny guy. Yeah, like you can tell he knows what the fuck he's doing, but he's also unintentionally really funny too. Yeah, like that's such a funny thing because like smoke show, no one really says that anymore, and it's not that fratty. Like every dude says that sort of, but it's like a weird old term. That's like just to bar that is so funny. Like no more saying smoke show. Bro, there was a smoke show. Don't do it. <laughs> I was listening to Future the other day, and he referred to a girl in his song as a smoker. And I was like, he's going to have to take this up with Chet. <laughs> That's not very white boy summer. I mean, no. It's like Chet is saying smoke show is for white guys. And don't say – was he saying all guys or just white guys? I think it was white guys. I think his whole thing is like white boys, we have to evolve – so stop doing these things Got because it. it's white boy summer. And in order for it to be white boy summer, we, you we gotta have to evolve. The elevate. So you got to stop saying smoke show. Yeah, no more saying smoke show. <laughs> Maybe you can still say smoke. Just smoke. Because it's abbreviated form like she's a smoke. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, smoker. Yeah, a that's smoker, what, that's good that's too. What Future said. He was like, she's a smoker. I was yeah. like, Chet. If Future says it, I mean, but granted, you know, <laughs> Future's definitely not in um, the white boy category. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, we can, wh- we can rip the videos in the bonus. How about that? Should we? Yeah. Yeah. Man, we should play, we should play the cameo before we ride out. Oh, that cameo. Oh, the, yes. Yes. The one with good, the man. bowing down or whatever, taking it. What, what did he say? Yeah. He's like, that's me bowing to you. Tr- just play it. <laughs> yeah. My black Just queen. play it. Oh. Oh man. Do you have it, Luke? Do we have Please. the clip? Please. Do we have the clip? Clip clip. Do we have the clip? <clears throat> that one, that one, that one. Yeah, this is it. Let that rip. Alexis, what's up, baby? It's Trekmix. <laughs> Amber Schiffer. Schiffer, that's a strong name. Um, she told me that you're a black queen. That's me taking a bow to the queen. Um, <clears throat> are you a fan of my white boy summer thing I got going on? I appreciate that. Um, and that you hate Sperry's as well, but you love Vans. Me and you would definitely get along. If you ever see me, come holler at me. Bye. Alexis. Love that. I love that. We would definitely get along. Definitely get along. Here, you're a fan of the whole white boy summer thing I got going on. <laughs> he was you, like, you he did seen. one, he did one Instagram story, and he's like, it was the day after the white, he did the white boy summer video, the first one, and it kind of went viral. And he's like, Tam, woke up today, internet gone mad again. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, he did. Sheesh. Internet gone mad. <laughs> Stop it, man. The part that kills me about this cameo. <laughs> it's like heard you hate Sperry's and you like Vans. It's like that sounds like a sixteen year old, bro. It's like 
<laughs> the idea of a teenager receiving this cameo and he's just like putting on this whole act like Alexis. <laughs> yeah. What's your friend's whole white boy summer thing I got going on? Yeah. <laughs> You're taking a bow to you. I'm sure we get along great. Holler at me, he said. Holler at me. Hey guys, we'd like to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Honey. We all shop online and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. Use me, use me. Yeah. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Hey, here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite websites. Hey, okay. lids.com. Yep. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Oh. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons that I can find for lids.com or whatever site you're on. Uh, and if Honey finds a working coupon, you just watch the prices drop. What? That amount of money for a fitted cap? No way. Yep. 10 in the cart. I love Honey. Yeah? It's great. Save me a ton of money. I buy shit all the time online. Yeah? Every day, pretty much. Yeah. And it saves me money all the time. Most recently, I bought a new mouse for my computer <laughs> and saved a bunch of money. How much? So much that I went and bought a matching mouse for Noel, and now he loves it too. Yeah, I do. That's true. Well, it's true because, you know, we're just one of 17 million members that Honey has found savings. You know, we're just part of the $2 billion in savings that Honey has found for all 17 million of those people, mm -hmm. including us and our matching mice. $2 billion each? No, no, no. Oh, I, yeah. total. Yeah, oh, total. got it. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so if you already don't have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free. Installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, uh, you just be doing yourself a solid. Uh, so get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's joinhoney.com slash TMG. Bro, have you seen this guy that deals UFOs? UFO? Is it <laughs> no, no. no it's not, it's Come not on. the D's. That, I swear. Seriously, you look. Swear? Look, what I is it? swear, dude. Look, this guy is a—he's a, a self-proclaimed UFO dealer. Look at that. Let's see. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> crazy, right? This is insane. I know. You see that one? That's kind of like—it's kind of like junk, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of a beater, but it's a good price. Yeah, that's like your like space commuter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, we could put it. We could cop that. Yeah, we should definitely. I think we should get it. You think we should cop it? Yeah. Okay, right, let's go. Let's cop it. <laughs> what the? Here's another thing. I want to. I want to get into this. Test your girl TikTok, and this will be maybe a little bit of a relationship advice segment. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. Yeah. Like not on the new ship at yeah. least. Yeah. And so this actually will be a good. Um, it's like a new form of that. Honestly, there's this kid on TikTok. He's like what. You know, kind of a Chad. He's a Chad looking guy. What's his name? Sean? Sean. And what he does is guys. Yo, that name is more fucked up than your name. Yeah, what's his last name? Go up. That has to be. That's how it's a That's no, how you pronounce that, I think. That's the, be, that's the proper Polish way. This is Sean Co. He's got Co in his name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, the first two. <laughs> and is, we look alike too. We both have sick jaw lines. Mm, yeah. We do. What do you mean? Me and him were like. Bros. Yeah, you and Sean Siz? Yeah. Is that S Z? Yeah. yeah. Sean Sizza. S Z Y. Sean Cz. Sisman. Sismakowski. Sismakowski. Yeah, Sismakowski. So he has that sounds like a he disease. has guys. Guys will tell their no, he'll tell them to DM. Guys will tell this kid to DM their girls to yep. see if they're faithful. Yeah. And what they do. And then this guy posts it all on TikTok unbelievable genius. this is exposing at a new level genius sean genius it really is genius and it's very heartbreaking and also really entertaining i'm gonna tell him to do this to alina and then i'm just gonna have alina reply to him and be like walkie, walkie slush. slush just in audio notes yeah yeah and it's just you yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, bro you gotta hit my girl man i've just been like really nervous so she keeps you know being weird about her phone and all this shit and he's, he's like, like cool man i got you hey babe Whoa, Kenny. <laughs> He's like, damn, girl. Is is that you farting? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what was that? 
was that one? <laughs> that fucking laughing does like, oh no, 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's play this one. one. Rip. He said, hey, broski, for I need your help. My wife's 34, and I think she's into young guys, like 19, 22. <laughs> Wait, pause Can you help me, bro? It? What the Wait. fuck? Hey, what's up, guys? No. Hey, what's up, guys? Raider Tech here. We're reviewing the new iPhone 57. My wife is into young guys. <laughs> yeah. Like 19, 18, 17. That's almost 17 because that's illegal. Monotone. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like this person's relationship is ruined. It's his wife. Like, this is... This goes so much deeper than he could ever comprehend. And he's just like, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Relationship Breaker. Uh, today we got this guy. He's really yeah. fucked. Uh, he says, wife's into younger guys. <laughs> I'm kind of perfect for that because I'm 18 and I'm, and I'm fucking cool jaw. So <laughs> cool anyway, he's going to just DM her and say, what's up? Hey, you want to suck my cock? <laughs> she, she says, she, she said, says, yes, yes, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to follow up and say, can I eat your pussy? So uh, like for part two when she sucks my cock. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. I'm heading to her place right now. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the TikTok. This is her. This is what, this is what you look like when you're giving head. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you look like no, when you're giving head. This is what your wife looks, looks like, like when, when she's, she's sucking a young head. guy's cock. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Currently getting head from this guy's wife. <laughs> it's pretty good. Six out of ten, I would say. <laughs> All right, Leah. Let it let it go. I have a four-year-old, and it mean a lot. I was like, but I got you. I'll let you know. So I started saying, hey. Started slow. She said, hello. I said, how are you? She said, fine. How are you? Then I said, no, now I'm talking to you. Pretty good. Got to be smooth with it. Always. So that was sweet. Always. You look very young. Not saying it's a bad thing. And then I said, I'm 20. You look like 25, right? And I said, 34. Right. And that gorgeous damn. And then she said, you're actually so sweet. I got to speed up the process. So I said, um, I just honestly, just really attractive. And maybe we can see each other sometime. All right, she then says, you just met me, but I went on to pass up on that opportunity. So I sent a winky face, because, like, you know. <laughs> then I want to ask questions. So I said, have you ever got with any guys my age before? She said, you will be my first. She said, will, like, it's going to happen. So. so then I said, so you're saying it's going to happen? Then she sent me a picture. I'm not going to say what she sent me, um, but you guys can obviously know. <laughs> it was her big she ass said, did you like it? And then she also said, I don't even know if you... <laughs> Yeah, it was like her 34-year-old big old milkers. <laughs> yeah. So then she sent me a picture of her big old milky jugs. Um, can't wait to suck on those. Can't Anyways, wait to suck guys. on those. Sick nipples. Oh, anyway, yeah. Gotta be smooth with it. So I went over <laughs> there and uh, sent her a picture of my penis. And uh, yeah, like for part two when I suck her big juicy milkers. <laughs> Imagine being the dude watching this, just listening to this voice. Yep, so I damn her. They have a four-year-old together. <laughs> yeah. And he's like... What did he send you? <laughs> did he fucking did he did suck he in your big juicy milkers? <laughs> did he suck your big juicy milkers? Tell me the fucking truth. What did you send him? What did you send him? Did you send him a picture of your pussy? And then were you fingering it? And did he you finger it over there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> did you do the sprinkler? You did the fucking sprinkler? Oh my you did fucking you god. Sprinkler all over the lens, didn't you? And you got a squirt all over your pretty feet. <laughs> 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 Just ugly crying snot out of his nose. <laughs> was it bigger? Was it bigger? Don't don't lie to me. <laughs> On the phone. With this was boy. it was it younger? <laughs> what? What? Was it young? He was was it gooder? <laughs> <laughs> Calling this <me> boy. <laughs> and then and then and then she 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 she, she sucked his his young. Young balls all night. <laughs> <laughs> no cry, like the silent, like and then cry, like the. <laughs> Dude, <yo. laughs> Where did he finish? <laughs> Where did he finish? <laughs> okay, Jesus, he finished his. Finished all over my big 34 year old big juicy milker. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get it out the way. What? We paid for the fight. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> we did. Uh, but not, that's not to say, you know, I mean, I would never illegally stream anything. I don't think you would either. No, absolutely not. I mean, I wouldn't download a car. No, wouldn't download a gun. <laughs> wouldn't download a gun by any, by any means. No. So. What was that? 
I think someone on the ship just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever. I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. I'm going to knock out Austin because I'm an actual fighter. <laughs> and I got two guns right here. I am a fighter. I have a wrestling background. <laughs> he said it twice in that same intro. He said it twice. Dude. It's so funny. I've I'm never surprised. claimed to be a fighter. I'm going to knock him out because I am a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's the a, here's a Jar face Jarvis knockout. I, see, Michael Lee, what they have to tell these kids going in, tie your hair up or cut it. Yeah. Do you know how much worse a knockout looks when you have this like this mane? Look at this. When it <laughs> bump, see ya. <laughs> it looked like a toupee got punched off his head. <laughs> the Bryce Hall one did. You oh, bro. oh, yeah. His toupee definitely came back. Yeah. yeah. Man, man, oh man. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has memed the clip of him in his interview before his fight. They're like, what do you think you're going to do tonight, Bryce? He's like, I'm definitely getting a KO. The way KOs are going today, I'm definitely getting one. <laughs> you got one, brother. <laughs> you definitely got one, man. <laughs> and here's the thing. I don't, you know, I don't buy this whole, you know, oh, at least they had the courage to get in the ring. You guys are getting like millions of dollars. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. there's no like courage to get in the ring for five. Actually, no, the courage well, is this. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the, what I'm saying. This is the risk. You're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not saying like he didn't train. He, he, all I'm saying is like I'm glad they took it seriously because. Yeah. And, and people will keep taking it seriously because of this. Yeah. It's like the more this becomes more popular, the more it gets memed, the more people watch. Yeah. And like you, you know, if you sign up for this shit, you, it's not like you got to go hard, you know? Uh, the other thing I, I just, you know, a Taylor Holder just needs to come clean about it. Which? You lost. They, I guess they overturned it. And they made it a win for yeah, Gibb? Yeah. I think so. I yeah. mean, I mean, the the funniest thing was, like, I think on his, uh, his Instagram story, he was like, I don't agree with the decision, but, you know, the nerves got to me. I'm like, just say it, bro. <laughs> just say it. You lost. <laughs> You didn't do anything. Yeah, there it is. Boys, we officially got the W. Yeah. Thanks for the support. Yeah, uh, as it should have been, man. It's kind of shitty that he didn't get to like, celebrate that on stage, though. Yeah, so whack. Yeah. So whack, man. I like how you <clears throat> called it a stage. Because that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is a stage. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it is a stage. That's true. That's <laughs> Dude, it's so it's so funny because... Okay, I think the greatest thing here is, er, like, what, what, go ahead. Just a lot of the funniest shit. Can you imagine if <laughs> the headline performance after the last fight was Jack Harlow? <laughs> <laughs> and they put Addison on stage <laughs> and she's dancing with Jack. No! <laughs> and now your headlining talent, Jack Harlow. <laughs> Oh God. oh God! That that's like a that's a comedy film waiting to happen, <laughs> dude. Know. Oh my God! <laughs> and he does like the you know the equivalent of Stacy's mom. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man, uh, is up there, Addison grinding all. <laughs> I'm performing my new song. I, I took your bitch I never, twice. I never claimed to be a fighter either, <laughs> <laughs> but I am a lover though. <laughs> 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 oh my god Addison's like yes he is <laughs> oh, that's bad Jesus Christ man I think there was something kind of you know a little bit poetic about that whole card though to see like a silver lining you're looking at me like what could this possibly be <laughs> what is it what, what poetic is? thing of no man I think it was a it's like a great example of some shit takes time and you success is like determined almost like by attrition like gib has fought before he took a horrible loss and he had to live with that for a long time and then he got in shape yeah and he got and he got and he came to this and you know taylor's like i'm training with canelo man i'm this and that and gibbs looking at he's like i don't give a fuck yeah you've never been in there you yeah. don't know what it's like and you don't know what i'm gonna fucking do to you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like and, and what happened taylor got there he had all that flashy training all those youtube videos he, he, he sparred with Canelo and he froze up and it's yeah. like I, I feel like I didn't get 
I didn't. I didn't really feel that depressed afterwards. You know, mm. like the production was really fucking good. Really actually, good. thriller. Really take good. a note, man. <clears throat> and there was a lot of like funny shit that happened. Yeah. So I didn't feel, really feel like I got robbed. You know? No, if you're if you're <clears throat> talking about like the money you spent, that was a streaming ticket. Honestly, it was well worth it. I don't think they're gonna make their money back though. No, I don't, I don't think there's any way they did. No. Nah. I, I was watching a interview with uh, Awesome McBroom beforehand, which I mean that's. <laughs> fucking dark place you know <laughs> watching an interview with uh, like it's like what am i doing like I mean, were you sitting with the lights off yeah exactly. that's all <laughs> he was like he was like it was the bff's podcast and and uh dave porno was like so how many think how many pay-per-view buys do you think you're gonna get and he was like i'm thinking about 1.7 million it's like there's, there's just no way no fucking way wouldn't that wouldn't there, that be in like the top 15 of pay-per-view buys ever yeah <laughs> something like that uh, yeah that's what i mean they think they're the like they think that they're like the most influential people ever. No, it's like no one real. I don't know. Like no, no. It, like look at the your, look at your YouTube analytics. Yeah, I guarantee you, it's like fourteen year old girls that watch your videos. Yeah, they're not buying a fight pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw that stadium. That shit empty. was empty. Yeah, it, I kind of chuckled it. Uh, I, I like I, lo- I was like looking at different like post fight stuff. And, you know, everyone who lost threw out some number of how many people were there. It was different for everyone. Uh, it was crazy to perform in twenty in front of 20,000 people <laughs> or 15,000 people, which I'm sure that was in there. I'm like, yeah, but that was like a 100K cap venue, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> DJ Khaled felt that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Did we have that clip? He felt that. Did we have that clip? Yeah, oh, yeah. And. start saying after that (laughs) no matter what (laughs) he's like ad-libbing the song it man it's just like oh so he still had the song in his monitor maybe probably yeah (laughs) yeah so he's just singing along and he thinks it is so hype in there (laughs) that's so sad i feel bad for the guy holy shit hey we'd like to take a quick break Uh, to thank a sponsor, HelloFresh. Now, you might be thinking, what is HelloFresh? I have the answer to that question. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. So you can skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Yeah, the new year is a great time to focus on what's most important to you, whether it's saving money by ordering less takeout, learning to cook, or prioritizing your wellness. HelloFresh is here to help with endless options to make cooking at home simple and enjoyable. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients to your door, including farm-fresh produce that arrives within a week, so you get convenience without skimping on quality. Uh, Skip the trip to the grocery store, saving you the wait in a long holiday line and ensuring you don't waste your money on excess food. And don't forget dessert, dude. Oh, of course. I didn't hear you say anything about dessert. Well, I think that's your time. Okay. Just want to make sure you didn't forget about it. No. Satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal limited time goodies like Dunkaroo's cookie dough or vanilla delight cheesecake. Um, you know, I like the bibimbap. <laughs> <laughs> The offer is go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat16 and use code TinyMeat16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat16 and use the code TinyMeat16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. I was driving the other day with cash and I was thinking about how I would maybe try to get out of a speeding ticket. How would you do it? So like you're the cop. Okay. Do you know how fast you're going, sir? Officer, just before we continue, just do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Just close your eyes. Uh, okay, just, so this just, is not really protocol. Just but... trust me. Just trust me. Just close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, now ask it again. Do you know how fast you're going? I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh. You sound like my favorite uh, Twitch streamer. Oh, Yeah. His name's Noel Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, what if you <laughs> just try to get the whole ticket, just you really put it out there, like, <laughs> tell me how fast I was going. Like yeah. trying to do the TikTok yeah. guy-girl voice yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it all the way to your stomach. 
Are you going to take me away? <laughs> it's like, why don't you put the ticket between my big jugs? <laughs> I have what? huge tits. Wait, you do? Massive oh, double D's. I'm picturing them right now. Oh my God. Oh, it's huge milkies. I'm scared you're going to see into my big milkies if you open your eyes. Oh, I won't. I won't. I won't open my eyes. <laughs> Damn it, foiled again. <laughs> this is Officer Fuck. Dingle Bob. <laughs> this is the horniest yeah, officer. Yeah. On. Everyone, this is Ben and Emil. This is our finance team. We brought you on to talk about this. A TikTok that went viral this week. He deleted this after because it went so viral. Oh, good. We love a shame, a shame delete. Yeah. So a few years ago, me and my friends started making a spreadsheet breaking down our incomes and availability for travel. You have your friends broken down here from Sean, my top earning friend who makes over $5 million to Jesus. who we call Broke Bob who makes $125,000. <laughs> you know, how much available pay time off, bonuses, how much we're willing to spend on a three-day trip, seven-day trip, marital status, willingness to travel to a third world destination, split a private flight, and if they're degenerate gamblers or not. We're yeah, man. That. It's not awkward at all when four of you go and they're like, why didn't you? Oh, well, because of the list, you don't really have that much money. Yeah. So we yeah, just didn't yeah. invite you. Yeah. Broke Bobby should come out and reveal himself and be like, I'm broke Bobby. Yeah. Help me. I only make 120K yeah, a year. Bobby, Please help so me. Broke. Yeah. I don't know why people aren't putting a trash can through storefront windows <laughs> after this. This is horrible. Rich people are so out of touch. This is insane. He thought this was going to yeah. be relatable. Guys, if you want to make a spreadsheet for you and your insane friends, we should do one with, poor people we should do one with our dad. friends and hot dogs. How yeah. many? Oh, this is a list of all the hot dogs. But <laughs> <laughs> and this is their marital status, just yeah. to know. It's yeah. helpful to know how much we like to gamble. Yeah. Just as part of it. Just yeah. like, and, and shitty Bobby likes ketchup only. Do we know what these guys do? It can't uh, be anything good. This is what this guy does. He like buys Section 8 housing. No. Yes. Wait, Section 8 housing is- It's like government funded oh. housing for- how can you come people you can buy that yeah took some old section 8 and flipped it into like <laughs> oh so he buys section 8 housing and keeps it affordable you yeah say. yeah exactly oh, yeah well, that's yeah. great no he buys oh. section 8 housing and puts wood floors in it and charges oh. eight times the rent i don't think he makes it more expensive maybe i don't know oh i was reading some God. comments oh yeah no he actually... would he would definitely not <laughs> yeah. make it what's he making three mil three mil three. what a loser investor with 380 rental houses wow yeah. fuck that, if that tells you. you anything about real estate you need 380 rental houses to make three. I guess I gotta dollars. shoot. Yeah, wow, that's really that seems low for. I have to own houses. half a suburb, guys. That's why I have to be nicer to landlords. It's <laughs> right. not that they're mean people; they just have too many properties. Yeah, and they're going all. through a tough time right now. Yeah, and no one's thinking about them. His first <laughs> video is how to buy a new Lambo online. <laughs> the thing that pissed me off most was the way that he was sitting on the couch. Oh, yeah. Like, head fully resting yeah. like this. Like, look at all my friends. Look at the millions of dollars we make. Yeah. You don't even have the decency to sit the fuck up well, yeah. that's when you're making a TikTok. <laughs> sit up, dude. <laughs> that's it. It's, it's disrespectful. What are you doing? Yeah, look at the fucking millions. He broke Bobby. He's a little bitch. <laughs> no, it's because... Sit up, dude. No, it's because no. his boner was holding up the laptop. <laughs> yeah. But his boner's even harder when he's talking about his broke friend. Yeah, that's why the screen adjusted in the middle of the TikTok. Yeah. Because he got even harder when he <laughs> saw how poor his friends were. This is broke box. Fuck. <laughs> the thing is, Broke Bobby is not the brokest. No. They, there's a, they keep a list of the bottom 10 earners. Wait, so Broke Bobby's not a bottom 10? Bobby's a top? What? Just me? Bobby's, he's, he's, he's a, top. a bottom 10 income earners in my friend group. They call themselves the Welfare 10. Jesus so let's get into Christ. It. Really good friends. Known most of these guys since college. A couple of them unemployed. All of them under 100,000 per year. A lot more PTO options. Expected bonuses, not so much. Not so much. We don't much. even do a seven day trip here. It's mostly three day trips. A couple of them already tapped out. Fiance, singles, you know, kind of a mix there. They're all willing to do third world destinations. Third except world Caleb, destination. he's had a bad experience out there. <laughs> We have to, you know, kind of change up the questions here. Non-chain restaurants, very important to understand. Both very important their ability to understand. To do first class for hotel or flights, having points is important. And we have a few degenerate gamblers here as well. Um, big thing to note, I don't care about my friend's income. It's just very helpful when we're planning day trips or road trips and see where everyone's at, you know, money-wise. So I don't, that's the bottom 10. I don't Why? understand. Like, they could have just made that list and not included the income, and it would have been the same thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. just say how much you're willing to spend on a trip. Right. That's it. That's all you need to know. This guy's in the welfare. Gee. He's at 92,000. Yeah, wait, 92K, you can take a week-long trip. Yeah. Hold on. His name's Gimp? 
<laughs> handsome Rob. Dookie shoes? shoes? These guys suck just based off their names. Yeah. I don't what know, about man. this guy? Ugly poor Jake. The second. No, I'm kidding. What does yeah. Fugly yeah. Jake make? <laughs> yeah. What? Ramen Ryan. Oh, Ramen Ryan is unemployed. Why isn't Ramen Ryan at the bottom of the list? Yeah, why is unemployed? Oh, probably because he makes more on unemployment than yeah. Gimp. Yeah, he's oh. got a decent. Jeez, Gimp's a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Get fired. How did this guy even know these other guys? He, uh, he needs me as a financial advisor. Buddy, you got to call your boss a fuckface. Damn. Should we watch the fucking Friday and pause it? Oh, Jesus. Guys, if you don't know what we're doing right now, you yeah. got to go watch the bonus episode from the last week because oh, we had God, probably man. one of the best times that I've like, had in a long... It was like a solid 20 minutes where we watched Dana White. Yeah, I was having, I was chuckling. At Creamberry in Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Wednesday. You gotta go to Creamberry. I'm gonna go. Are you gonna go there? Like, are you driving there? Or Thursday? Yeah, yeah. Are you driving to Vegas? Yeah, I'm driving. Dang, I'm going. It's not a bad drive. No, it's not. You you better drive right to Creamberry. No, I am. Okay, good. I've already put it on the itinerary. Okay, good. I let everyone in the group know. I'm we're driving in, and I'm going here first. You're going with a group? Uh, yeah. Nice. Me, Aiden, Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> just the Sick. Boys, How's man. Jarvis doing? Oh, he's chilling. You know, his brother, you know, Kay's coming as well. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After the whole like save the kids shit, he's nice. just, you know, he, he needs a night out. <laughs> so Aiden got hooked up with Rubit and uh, they're, they're sending us to Casino nice. World. Nice. That's fuck yeah. Or Resort World, excuse me. Yeah. Nice. It's crazy. They actually create, they built a custom Rubit slot that you could physically pull on. Wow. Um, yeah. Huh. And you just scan your uh, your, your stream wallet. key with yeah. the QR code. Oh, okay. And you can stream li right, nice. live from Resort World. Hell yeah. yeah. That's sick. So, you know. We're just going to do it to promote Save the Kids. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go straight to Creamberry. <laughs> so, Dana White does this thing every Friday now called Fuck It Friday. Mm -hmm. Where he says, fuck it. Fuck it. I just took nine shots of Howlerhead. Just took eight shots of Howlerhead. <laughs> Getting ready for Connor Khabib 7. <laughs> Hopefully no one pulls out this time. You know, they, 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 those guys are killers, man. <laughs> and he eats something. And yeah, he, he just says, eats fuck something. It. He says, fuck it, it's Friday. Bro, he eats something nasty. We always talk about like, you know, Jeff Bezos is Lex Luthor. Dana White is Lex Luthor. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. He's scary, dog. <laughs> He's oh, what? no, he is Kingpin. He's Kingpin. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, Jeff is, Jeff is Lex this motherfucker's kingpin. All right, let this. All right, up. fuck it. It's Friday. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, fuck it. It's Friday. Let's go. Fuck it. What's up, everybody? It is Fuck It Friday here at UFC headquarters, and today, Chef Eric has made Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, and uh, we have a little uh, keep on chili it? cheese whiz. <laughs> chili cheese whiz. Little keep chili cheese whiz. <laughs> Can you put it up a little bit? It's like he's like an in between of like the Rock and Stone Cold. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, fuck it. Play it. Fuck, fuck it. it. Play it's Friday. It. Let's go. Cheese whiz dipping sauce here, too. What's up, brother? First, you got to start off with some ribeye steak. Okay. Then add some cheese whiz and mozzarella. Okay. Obviously. Put the cheese steak filling into an egg roll wrapper. Okay. okay. And fry it for two to three minutes or until it's golden brown. Just, yeah, just have a fryer in your house. Oh, oh. man, this is hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he going again? Why do, you, why do you keep going back? Why are there so many cuts? <laughs> he doesn't like it. He hasn't even said anything good. Oh, it's too fucking hot. Every time why is the dipping sauce so hot? Chili cheese sauce is too fucking hot for me. And I really didn't get any taste out of this at all. It didn't taste like a Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak egg roll. And <laughs> They're going to shoot the chefs now. <laughs> They're going to be honest, them. I'm like kind of impressed. <laughs> Why was there like eight cuts of that? And like this. <laughs> dude, dude, when he dropped the first one. 
<laughs> he looks like a baby trying to suck a nipple for the first time, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Ow. bro. Oh Ow. my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> 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 Bro, that fucking face. <laughs> it's like Thanos eating a churro, bro. <laughs> why why did he try it so many times? Can we go back and watch? It's just so many just <laughs> I I go fast forward after this. <laughs> Too fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, play. Volume. <laughs> just wait it just came out of the fryer bro we try with the dipping sauce we try with the dipping sauce <laughs> the sauce is too hot <laughs> Bro, he the, has the, the avatar off. arrow at the top of his forehead. <laughs> yeah, he does. That is crazy. And I really didn't get any taste out of this at all. It didn't taste like a Philly cheesesteak. All I'm, cheese all I'm feeling right now is just heat. Yeah. It's just so hot in my mouth. <laughs> not, not a bit of him like that. He nah. was trying to make something happen there. The funniest part about it is that he like recorded the recipe beforehand. Like, Why would we need to know the recipe if you're just going to say it's shitty anyways? Yeah. Yeah, he knew. He knew he didn't like it. Uh, why? Yeah, why post something you don't like? <laughs> I kind of respect it. Yeah, yeah. It's honest. It's honest content. Fuck it, Friday. Fuck it, Friday. Fuck this. <laughs> you know, fuck this egg roll. Honestly, <laughs> it's so aggressive for no reason. <laughs> fuck it, Friday. <laughs> why? Yeah, bro. That's uh, shout out Dana White though. Yeah. Shout out Dana White. Ten um, shots of Howlerhead. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> Just burn the shit. Burn, burn the fuck out of the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Perfect, because I'm going to do 90 shots of Howlerhead now. <laughs> I won't be able to taste anything, so it'll just go down. Straight to my stomach. <laughs> What's up? I'm blacked out. I've done 10 shots of Howlerhead whiskey in the last hour. I just thought of an horrible one. And I'm eating bagel bites. These things are hot as hell. But I can't wait. They look so good. Everybody knows me as Dana White until I get a bottle of Howlerhead. Then I'm Dana Black. <laughs> Dana Blacked Out White. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought about like getting more people on board. Yeah, it's like I do like a horribly fucking integrated process though, where it's like hard to get other people to like help with stuff. Yeah, because um, like even like the way I shoot, like make the video portion of it is like is super brain damaged. Okay, it's horrid. In the <laughs> like I don't shoot it all at once and then edit. I like shoot like. 30 seconds worth and go into Premiere and drag it in a Premiere and then edit it. To see how it looks. And see how it looks. I, do, I do that same shit. Dude, it helps me think of like the like what I need to do next. Yeah. And like the story was yes. going to happen. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because I can't like see, like figure it all out beforehand. Yeah, got I'm it. bad at that. Um, so I can't get an editor when I'm pulling that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. feel like that's also how Bo Burnham did his special. Did you watch his new yeah, special? Oh, I watched it last night. Yeah, Alex. same last night. Same. But it, it, it doesn't it, it is like that. It's like it's so stream of consciousness, and you can tell he's sitting down and writing it as he's editing it. For sure, he's Where, like making it. Yeah, after the other. which is feel like you're totally different. I feel like your brain is like you see the finished product. That's oh. impressive. And yeah. you're able to go shoot something Damn, right. and then take hard. it. Hard, relax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's not a compliment. No, no, I'm oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. that, that was actually a diss. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but no. You, would you agree with that? I mean, I... No, yeah, I think I can definitely piece together um, storylines like in my head. I, I feel bad for Noah whenever he's cutting my videos because... I just, I'm always just, it's stream of consciousness and when I talk and then I might go for like 20 minutes and then I'll go up. Oh, that's not, I'll be like, 
the first five minutes aren't going to make sense because I didn't piece together this thing. So I'm going to say that whole thing over and yeah. then I need to add this. And then like, I'll do that. So like, I'll really fuck with him because I can imagine he's already edited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he's fuck like, you. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Noah? That Cut the last 30 bad. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so what did you think of this? You liked it. Bo Burnham's new special. Oh, it was like in like very insane it it made me feel bad though it, yeah like, i'll probably never make something as amazing and incredible as that and oh, like, like holy shit like it's it was one of the most impressive things i've ever seen it's like my favorite surely my favorite like netflix piece of content ever yeah yeah it felt really really intimate like it felt like it was like a little bit inspiring in that way where it's like now it just makes you want to go to a room and do the same thing yes not that you not that i could or anything obviously he's like in a league of his own but like at least try you know yeah it just like felt so him and like there was nobody else like it's just his vision and like the most yeah, purest form of that where it's like I love that. start to finish it's all him and like that i think is really inspiring oh, fuck it's so hard. yeah you gotta see it yeah no i mean um it was pretty depressing i'm gonna watch horribly it horribly depressing i'm gonna watch it and come on with just uh, just double down opinion against uh, everything you guys just said. <laughs> I think it's just all right. Cool I think it's just or... too easy. I think he lied. Actually, I think he had a whole team. Why do you yeah. stay in just one room? Yeah. Different sets. Yeah. <laughs> I think he had a whole team. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he did shit. I don't know. I think it's bullshit. I think he had a ghostwriter. Actually, how's <laughs> the camera zooming in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just like too dumb for to like understand the whole thing. But like my favorite parts were like the happy parts like the parts where he was like like at, making fun of shit like the white woman instagram song and stuff yeah. like that i was like i can fuck and then some songs i just didn't understand they and i'm like i think i'm it. just too dumb for this they were also i mean i think they're all sweet i like i i like the whole it's it just felt like like i like this shit where it's like i just can see that you put all your time and effort into this one thing yeah it's like i respect that so much yeah yeah I was like holy shit how God, like a whole year of your life spent on one thing is really cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what we were talking about before, just on steroids. Like, he literally just, I mean, you, you think about what it feels like, like um, three weeks into a video or something like that. Like, I worked on that Darman one for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. And like two weeks, three weeks in, I'm like, I don't know if, is this all for nothing? Like, people are going to hate this. Yeah. They're going to fucking hate it. Imagine yeah. being a year into it and you're like, is this just stupid? Yeah. yeah that's just a straight anxiety for the whole thing. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, not that this even holds a candle to it, but uh, finishing Suki was like years of anxiety. Would, yeah, yeah. See, so you've been there. Yeah, it's like it was the worst. Because here's the thing that I really empathize with, like with filmmaking, is you probably sit on a film so long that by the time you see the finished cut, you're like, oh, I should have just rewrote like three quarters of this. Yeah. And like you see all the shit you should have did better. Yeah. But like if you're on some crazy budget, like 10, 30, 50 million dollars, you're like, well, it just is that now yeah. and you have to fucking pony up for the one like the people who just don't get that you dedicated your life to and they're like yeah i don't know wardrobe kind of stunk man <laughs> the fight was kind of shit yeah. <laughs> yeah i think um the, isn't the way i saw the something about like the way marvel gets around that is um they they make like the whole movie in like 3d renders and they'll oh. like do the whole movie in like really shitty like 3D renders. I think I've heard it. this. Yeah. It's fucking weird. Yeah. Right? But it's like it stops them from like having that exact moment where they're like, I wish we did this bit different. Yeah. Like they can just see the whole movie before it actually gets shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's like yeah. a proof of concept. Like It's a proof of concept entire movie. You should see them. They're like, Iron Man's like fucking doing this and shit for some of the worst of scenes. <laughs> but they get to see how, how it fits together and it, they kind of get to avoid that that the horrible feeling you get. Yeah, I mean, have you huh. have you ever noticed that like no Marvel movie up until, or like there's a long period where they just were never colored? Like, did you ever notice that? Oh, no. Where there's very little It's color. just shot raw. What? Yeah, because the studios don't want to spend money on the color. Really? Yeah. I know that was the reason. Yeah, it's just huh. way too many scenes and like delivering a film to a colorist is like. Oh, is this the, ch is this it? Is this the rendering? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is Previs Play it. from Play it, let's see. Previs. Let it maybe mute it so we don't. Yeah. Damn, those are pretty detailed though. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> this looks like a children's video on YouTube. Yeah. Like one of those like Russian auto generated children's videos. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's Elsa and Spider Woman or whatever the fuck. Yet. <laughs> Wait, what? Yet, that was busy. This is pretty real. Oh, this is pretty good. They might have gone more intense for like the really important scenes. Yeah. No, but I. Oh, no, this is the, these are the animated ones. 
Yeah. This is when the finished product is actually A lot of the right? scenes go through previs of different stages. Mm. Oh, that is... That is... Damn. How they even shoot it? It's yeah. <laughs> Yvelle's getting a director boner. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I was, it was so funny. I was... Um, Alina and I were watching Army of the Dead. Did you watch that? I'm not. Uh, Zack Snyder thing on Netflix. Um, I'll save my commentary. But <laughs> I was laughing at us because like, we basically we ruin some movies for ourselves because her producer brain goes in. Oh yeah. And what I found is like, we're just talking over scenes being like, yeah, they probably like, they probably casted like these people and this, this, they probably did this. And she's like, yeah, to save money. Yeah, they probably, and like, we're just, and then I like had to snap out of him. Like, we didn't fucking make the movie. Just shut up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a problem with like learning shit. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> it's a problem with learning shit. It ruins everything. In life. All the engagement. Yeah. It's yeah. actually fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, once you, like, once you, once I learned how to write code, I couldn't use an iPhone app without, like, thinking about how it was built. Yeah, do you get that? Like, that programmer rage when things are written like ass? Really written like ass. And sometimes when, like, I see someone do something, like, really hard, but it's, like, not done well, I'm like, it's okay, you get a pass. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. I know how tough that yeah. must have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally do, though. Yeah. yeah. When the fucking I just, programmers do UX. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, when you know when a website's cool, but it's just bootstrap, you're like, oh, this is. One Here of we those. go. I know how you did that. Oh, yeah. I know you're like little window painting. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Get you. yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. We're just like, ah, this feels good. Programmer talk. talking. Program <laughs> on the talk. Fucking yeah. podcast. People are, are people listening right now. It's like, can you go back to talking about balls and dicks? And, yeah. And Maybe go back sounding. to talking about sounding. boxing. Sounding. 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 Go back to talking about sounding. sounding? <laughs> <laughs> Any sounders in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sounders, make some noise in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Let us know if you're sounding along at home. Sound off in the chat. <laughs> Yo, sound off. For the sounders, yeah. <laughs> all, all three of us just our <laughs> chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to review new Megan Fox and MGK content from the British GQ mm -hmm. cover that they did because I think it's been a long time since we've actually found content that's actually cringe. Actually cringe. Okay. At this level. Okay. And I think this truly is perfect. Did I'd you say, read? I'm saying yeah, but I don't know anything <clears throat> about it. You haven't seen this? No. I only know the quote about I am weed. <laughs> yeah, can we can we read that? Okay, here we go. Let's put dramatic lighting on. This is Megan Fox. I just remember this tall, blonde, ghostly creature. And I looked up and I was like, you smell like weed. He looked down at me and he was like, I am weed. Then I swear to God, he disappeared like a ninja in a smoke bomb. Yeah, that's um to say it, I mean to say I am weed and anything else happened but the girl just being like okay and leaving is insane to me. This is just peak high school. <laughs> what a strange way to greet someone. You smell like weed. <laughs> Bitch, I am weed. <laughs> and why weed? Yeah. You could have picked anything else. This also could have been a I, scene in Midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just one of the people at the camp all fucked up. <laughs> this girl all fucked up on shrooms and the dude comes close. She's like, you smell like weed. And he's like, I am weed. <laughs> <laughs> we all are weed. <laughs> <laughs> I just think like, you know, anything would have been cooler. Nice shirt. I am shirts. <laughs> That's cooler than this. Also like the his fucking hair in this. Like, yeah. the I don't think that straight dudes ever wore extensions are those extensions i can't yes see. dude he has short hair oh okay doesn't he i, don't I mean at the vmas did he not have short hair we can go back to regular lighting candace we don't have to be still adding a lot of drama <laughs> it felt dramatic <laughs> We're just, this isn't just cool <laughs> i am shirts <laughs> i am weed is also kind of a classic high thing to say I am weed. <laughs> yeah, just, you smell like weed. Uh, I am weed. Then he you, you are a girl. <laughs> the social Megan anxiety Fox, is what right? made him disappear. Dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I <Yeah>. am weed. <laughs> um, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he realizes it's fucking Megan Fox. He's like, holy fuck! <laughs> I loved you in Transformers, by the way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I am weed. Bye. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. They're yeah. perfect. Wait, there's another one. 
There's another, I think she wrote it as her Instagram caption. They remind me of like a couple in high school that got tattoos first. <laughs> you know? like Oh, yeah. Like their parents oh, yeah. got them tattoos first. Yep. And they live in Huntington Beach. 100%. And then they, every, every Monday they come back and they're like, <laughs> oh, me and... I don't even know what, what Machine Gun Kelly's real name is. <laughs> um, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Me and Kelly went dirt bike riding this weekend with his family. It was so much fun. Have you ever ridden a two-stroke? <laughs> what? He was so high. It was so crazy. You know, like, it's just that. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> his, real name, his real name is Colson. Colson. Oh, perfect. Colson, right. Okay. Yeah. He looks like a Colson. <laughs> More like coleslaw. <laughs> Got him. All right, machine gun coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> you mean more like coleslaw, Kelly? <laughs> nice, dude. Are you high, by the way? I am weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is her Instagram caption, right? Just uh, That was her quote before. Now this is directly from her fingers. Yeah. The tale of two outcasts. <laughs> Stop Which, it. first of all, just right <laughs> off the bat. I mean, you couldn't be m more mainstream. And you couldn't be less outcasted. That's what I'm saying. How are either of them outcasted? <laughs> They're not at all. I mean, both of them, like, no, 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 ha no hate to them, right? No. They're just, they're not outcasts at all. She's like the hottest girl in the world. He's like doing the most popular form of music from the last 20 years. Yeah. How are they outcasts? Yeah. I don't know. The tale of two outcasts and star-crossed star -cross lovers caught in the throes of a torrid solar flare of a romance featuring feverish obsession, uh, guns, romance is an album? addictions. <laughs> this, is it? This is a track list. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm saying that's how she's described. Their shit is an album, dude. It's lots of blood is yeah. one of the songs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> featuring feverish obsession guns addiction <laughs> shamans lots of blood general mayhem therapy <laughs> tantric night, night terrors, terrors. <laughs> binding rituals chakra sound baths psychedelic hallucinations organic smoothies and the <laughs> kind of sex that would make lucifer clutch his rosary organic smoothies holy shit you're yeah, pretty oh healthy in the God. middle of all that seriously tantric night terrors General mayhem, lots of blood. Organic smoothies. <laughs> Razzmatazz. <laughs> Jumbo juice. <laughs> Kale salad. <laughs> kind of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. What are they doing down there? They're like killing babies? <laughs> yeah, seriously, are you <laughs> sacrificing pull out a, literal humans? Yeah, so pull out a, like, a nine, like a fresh baby and just stab it clean in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Even the devil's like, hey, hey. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, this is fucked, dude. I'm I'm about to clutch my rosary real yeah. quick. This shit's messed up. The devil goes to church. They're like, <laughs> Satan? He's like, listen, I just watched those two outcasts go at it. Let me tell you, they are two star-crossed lovers caught in a torrid solar flare. Matter of fact, bring my boy down here and Jesus comes down. He's like, Satan, what the fuck are you doing? This is What are you doing in my house? He's like, I'll... Just talk to me, man. Have you ever had a tantric night terror before? Oh, you saw MGK? <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, so much blood. Okay, come on. Let's, so much blood. Come on, hold the rosary. Let's do this together. <laughs> Adrenochrome. Yeah. <laughs> Eating baby foreskin to Stem be younger. <laughs> Stem cells. Adrenochrome. <laughs> Harvesting blood from young teenagers. Killing poor people. <laughs> It's just like, what's up? General mayhem. Like, do you just go to their house and they're just like have chainsaws on ropes and they're just swinging them around? The <laughs> just, like, they fucking talk like they're like World of Warcraft characters. This is insane. Also, addiction. <laughs> do you guys need to talk to somebody? Yeah, like addiction is definitely not like sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a dark ass place man i'm assuming it means like addicted to each other but oh that okay. also would be kind of funny right yeah that's guns like, shamans general mayhem <laughs> crippling meth addiction therapy <laughs> a seriously unhealthy <laughs> reliance on opioids consistently burning the oven 
<laughs> Blown up yogurt in the microwave. <laughs> Super mundane shit. <laughs> Can't find batteries for the TV remote. <laughs> Hard to turn the volume down on the TV. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Wow. Good times. We definitely just watched all of those with you. We did, and it was so fun. No, honestly, uh, thank you all for another year of great podcasting. You know, we'll see if we became the sixth best podcast. Oh, yeah. On Earth. I forgot that was our goal this year. Yeah. That was our resolution. Well, that was like when we were on Earth. Yeah, that's true. And ever since we got up here, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Spotify rankings and stuff. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck about that? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Made our own league. Exactly. Now, if Sophia comes up into space, then it's going to be a problem. (laughs) We're going to have to shoot her ass down. Anyways, guys, uh, we're doing a best of part two on Patreon. Uh, Thank you all so much. Um, Have a wonderful new year. Yes. And new year. We'll see you very soon. Bye.